Syncopy is Adobe's word processing software designed to allow editors and designers to work together on the same InDesign document. And in Copy, we have way less tools to work with. If you set up your display using the advanced workspace, you'll see we get a similar palette to InDesign with all of the character and paragraph styles. There are two ways to start an InCopy lead project. Second and wildly undervalued is the author initiated workflow. The author initiated workflow has the author flowing or writing their manuscript directly into InCopy. The author can style their own document using styles supplied from an existing InDesign file. Once the book has been styled, the author can alert the designer and the designer can flow the InCopy file directly into the InDesign document. This guarantees all of the author's styling, such as bold and italics, is kept intact. Once the book has been typeset in InDesign and any images added, the designer can alert the editorial team that the first pages are ready to be viewed online. In an author-initiated workflow, the author can open up a new InCopy document. Simply go to the Paragraph Style panel and use the drop-down menu to find Import All Text Styles. Navigate to the example InDesign document, or better yet, use the sample chapter of your own book supplied by the designer and import the styles. This will populate the panel with both character and paragraph styles from the InDesign document. You have three viewing options available to you in InCopy. The gully view is plain text with the styles noted in the left-hand column and the line breaks reflecting the line breaks of the InDesign document. The story view is similar to the gully view, but the line breaks have been removed so you can focus on the text. The layout view is exactly what you'll see in the InDesign document. Please note that you'll need to have the fonts used in the InDesign document installed on your computer for this to work. The second way to get started is to create your own styles. Simply hit on the plus on the paragraph panel and create a new style. You can create keyboard shortcuts for styles you use often. Whether the designer or the author has initiated the workflow, the designer's InDesign files are what the workflow centers around. Once the designer has typeset the book, it is now ready for the editorial team to get in there and start editing. Open in Copy and open up the designer's InDesign file. This small globe icon means that the text box is available to check out and start editing. While you have the document checked out, no one else can edit it. Once you've finished working on the text, you check the content back in and save the document. Multiple people can have the document open and be working on separate areas. If something is checked out, you can hover over the crossed out pencil and it should tell you who has the file checked out. A really handy way to pass information between editorial and design is to use the note function within InCopy. This is great for exact positioning of images and passing on design instructions precisely where they are needed. Once the editorial team has completed their edits, they just have to notify the designer that they have finished. InCopy is the ultimate collaboration tool for designers and editors. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want a more in-depth look at how to use InCopy as an author or as a designer. Please like, subscribe and share.